Hey there, hi there, ho there, we're there, here there, at the Daily Can of Worms, real, real early in the morning, with your host, at Frills Jamie. So, when your body is so tiny, like mine, but your mind is just so big and full, you can't sleep at 2 in the morning. So you have to get up and make a video, because you have questions that are keeping you awake all night. Some of my questions are this. Why in the absolute <clears throat> is going on, dude? What is going on in our country? What is all these things burning? Burning. Where are the climate change activists marching at those burns? Where is AOC? Where is um, any of them, sorry, I get hung up on them because I don't really like them that much, but where are they? Are they around the world in their private jets? Are they tucked in in their house doing social media videos, trying to look all cute, doing makeup and bashing your partners and your colleagues across the aisle? Come on, we're not stupid. Stop treating the American people like we're stupid. Listen to us. It's our class low class, middle, upper middle. They are weeding us out. They're phasing us out, guys. Never in my life, and I'm old, have I seen anything like this in our country. Occasionally, there'd be mishaps and danger and, oh, wow, you know. But come on, what is going on? Oh, the chicken plants burning, planes crashing into food processing places and chickens burning left and right all over the world now in New Zealand I saw there was something too in the name of bird flu but were they burning stuff first and then coming out saying bird flu or were they coming out saying bird flu and this particular place is dealing with an outbreak right here so the American people could be like oh okay you know Chickens are burning over there because they've been really sick. Whatever. No, that's not happening. We're just seeing shit burn and burn and burn. Crash and burn. I feel that's what's going on in America. Our whole country is crashing and burning under this administration. <coughs> Excuse me. Tickle in my throat. Tell me what you guys think. Put it in the comments, like, subscribe. We gotta keep communicating. We gotta keep communicating. Come on, guys. Something big is happening. Something big is happening. The United States was the strongest, most fierce country. I love my country. I get chills saying that right now. I love the anthem. You, you, all my kids played sports because I made them, because it's life lessons. You learn a lot of life lessons and how to be productive, teamwork, how to just like get up and dedicate yourself to something with maybe no reward if your team sucks. But you know what? You get up every day, you work hard, and you do it because that's the American way. That's what we were taught as little kids, especially us middle class. Some of us came from very poor on up, but it sucks because over the last year, and actually in the last couple of years since um, the pandemic, dude, nurses and doctors are going from upper middle down to lower middle class. Something isn't right. When you hear Uncle Joe say anything, what you can know is what I have taken note over, and hopefully most of Americans, everything that guy says, the exact opposite is what is going on. And I'm not even exaggerating. It's true. All the right is trying to cut Medicare, Medicaid, bleh. But yet, he doesn't tell you how he cut physician pay under Medicare, Medicaid, put out a budget saying to the physicians, excuse me, oh, 
this year under Medicaid and Medicare, you can only get this amount to pay and it's going to be approximately 4% 4 4 excuse me, lower than the normal what you are getting paid. So all that does is this. It drives up the cost for private pay insurance people. Yes, nurses, doctors, businessmen, small businesses. It drives up the cost for us. We're paying for that. We're paying for everything. We are the backbone of this country. And our backbones are caving and crushing because they're doing it. They're crushing us down. How much more can we take, dude? I don't even want to be a nurse anymore. 20-something year career as a nurse. Been an ER nurse my whole life since I was young. It's, it's crazy. What the is going on? Share in the comments what your thoughts are. Are you seeing this? Get off mainstream media. Listen to people like me. I'm just your neighbor, your coworker, your friend who refuses to shut her mouth. Because if you could reach one person and get them off mainstream media and start looking into this stuff, you would be amazed. So anyone that watches my videos, talk to your neighbors. Go to your church. During fellowship, talk to your fellow churchgoers. Talk to grocery store clerks. I've had a good, great experience with that. You'd be surprised how many grocery store clerks have no idea what's going on and just kind of go with it and they don't care. They're doing their thing. And you'd be surprised how many stay up at all night long like I do. With the wheels just spinning and spinning and spinning. With this dreaded insomnia, it's like 2.30 in the morning where I live right now. And here I am ranting and raving again for the second time in a short while. Because my mind doesn't stop because I have so many questions. And you Americans should too. We are not the country we were back in the 80s, back in the 70s. And I'm sure 60s, 50s, blah. However, you get my drift. Our country is on a falling free fall right now. Excuse me, my language, but we're on a free fall, guys. We're free falling. When do we hit the bottom? What happens when we hit the bottom? What causes us to hit the bottom finally? Share your thoughts with me, with anybody. We need to keep communication lines going. Come on, guys. We the people. We got to stand up and demand answers from this administration. And our Uncle Joe. Be like, yo, Uncle Joe. WTF, man, what is going on? I don't want you stumbling, bumbling, in the thing and then your mouthpiece up there stuttering and reading out of a binder come on i'm so sick of hearing the same answers out of her is she even qualified for the job or did she check enough boxes to get it let's be real let's be real on this channel the daily can of worms let's talk let's keep going let's fight for our country we have the greatest country in the world and we're on a free fall to the ground and we as the people have to start standing up. People stand up to the government that's employed by us. Don't you guys have questions why over the last decade so many politicians are millionaires? Don't you think that was part of the plan? Don't you think they were in on the secrets about the two-tier system so they had a decade or so or more to stack the bills up? How many of them betrayed our country to get there. I, can't, I have a few opinions. I got my dear old aunt and my uncle and their kids, my cousins, you know who I'm talking about. Yeah. Anyway, it's not funny, but if you don't find humor anywhere, then you find darkness. We got to stay positive. We got to push for the light. 
find a little humor to keep it going but in all seriousness this is not funny this is not funny america drop a comment do you think it's funny are you scared like the rest of us anyways this is a really early video but i'm telling you pay attention pay attention to everything burning and crashing around you and why it's okay for chemicals and plastics and everything else toxic to go up in smoke with no answers. Where is Buttigieg? Is he out gallivanting around on a plane or an SUV and then getting his bicycle out for the cameras the last two seconds? We need answers. What in the is going on in the greatest country of the world? I have my opinions. Share yours. This has been the Daily King of Worms with your host at Perils Jamie. Peace out.